Sometimes RAS models can take a while, especially sediment transport models. You're adding a bunch more computations in there, and so sometimes it can take a while. You know, about an 800 cross-section quasi and steady model run for 50 years can take four hours. And then if you maybe run 2D, you know, a much smaller model with a much smaller runtime, depending on the number of grain sizes, can take a while. And we'll do a couple of videos on how to reduce those run times. But one thing you can do is you can just run multiple of them overnight and see how it's responding to different parameters and different equations. And so there's two ways to do that. One is you can make a bunch of different projects and run the different projects. Or you can use an internal batch feature we have in RAS to run multiple plans while you're gone. And so I'm going to just show you the later one. Um, so this is a sediment transport project I have that has multiple one-dimensional models in it. Um, and uh, these are short, so you can kind of see how it works. And so, you know, these, this is a quasi and steady run, and so it's just going to kind of run through it. I think it takes about six seconds. But you can imagine if this was six hours, you just scale it up. Um, and so I have a lot of these. Um, and so I'm going to go into run, run multiple plans. And what you'll see is you get a list of all the different plans you have in your project. And uh, this happens to be the, the project I use to test the transport functions. You know, we run these automated tests a couple times a week in order to make sure we haven't introduced any bugs and to make sure that, you know, our code is conservative um, over time. And so I run these to test the transport functions with different mixing functions. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just say check all plans. And I'm going to press run all check plans. And what it's going to do, it's going to just run through them in series. Um, now, th it won't send different runs off to different cores and run them in parallel. It's going to run them from you know beginning to end. But you know if you've got a two-hour run, you're going to get six to eight of them in um, overnight. If you've got an eight-hour run, you're going to get a bunch of them in over the weekend. It can be really useful. Um, and so you know we'll just let a few of these run, stop the next one, so you can kind of see the result you get. And so when you do run them, um, at the end, you know, one of the things that, you, that disappears is that runtime window. And that runtime window can be really important, has a lot of diagnostic information. Did it go unstable? Did it fail? You know, what are the, the warnings and errors and messages that you get? And so what it does is it produces this editor that shows you all of the runtime files. And you can go through and kind of see what the runtime was. And any of that information that you're used to getting in runtime, then you can run through at the end. And so this can be really powerful, a way to kind of launch multiple models at one time. My name is Stanford Gibson. I am the sediment transport specialist on the HC RAS team. And these little RAS videos are being sponsored by the HHNC SEP program.